called Karaya this afternoon. In uh, we're at Karaya Division One side, Matawari Division Two. Your guest crew this afternoon: cameraman Brett Revere, Simon Fuller, commentators Barry Walker, David Cook, director Scott Parker. In the Umpires this afternoon in the centre, we have Darren Gilmore from the Geelong Football Umpires League and running with him this afternoon, Duncan Potts from the Colac League. On the boundaries, we have Linda Yates and Diane Morrison. In the goals, Bruce McKenzie and John Hilda. The sides here this afternoon, Carrio with a 5-2 record for the season so far in Division 1, Matawari with a 2-5 ratio Division 2, lying in 4th position, Carrio lying in 3rd position. I'll do ideal co conditions out here this afternoon at the Shell Reserve, not much wind blowing, uh, probably just blowing straight across the ground from where we are here this afternoon. Ground in perfect condition. It's uh, the Karai Football Club just had it rolled here and spiked during the week, and uh, the ground is in tip-top condition. And all in all, it should be a great game of football here this afternoon. Co-commentator David Cook. Good afternoon, David. Good afternoon, Barry. Good afternoon to the crew. Would good to see the cameraman already on the job, picking up the fact that we've got two lady boundary umpires here today, and uh, Simon and uh, and Brett both pretty keen to get the cameras rolling on them. Interesting game today with the Division 2 side playing Division 1. There's been a couple of upsets in recent weeks with the Division 2s getting up and beating the Division 1. Talking to Terry Mortar, the stalwart of the Motto Worry Club, before the game, he feels that uh, they'll make the four in Division 2, but whether they can beat Karaya today yet to be seen. Karaya pretty strong in Division 1. Probably interesting. one interesting point I'll be looking for, Barry, is the full forward at Rod Boythroyd, nicknamed Legs. He's uh, kicking many goals. Uh, at full forward and uh, his battle with Paul Messon at full back for Mottawari could be a highlight of the day. Yes, uh, no, another player out there in the ruck for Mottawari should uh, play very well here this afternoon in uh, Johnny Woods. But uh, Woodsy, I think you need a few hair clips in that hair, pal. Or either get a cut, one or the other. That's Michael Woods, of course. Uh, yes, that's Johnny's son, rather. Uh, Michael wearing the number four Guernsey here this afternoon. We'll take a short break and we'll be back very shortly for the start of this game here this afternoon. Potts from the Colac League put the ball to turf. Up they go. Tap down there for uh, Carrillo by the big fella in Stewart. It goes out wide towards the centre wing. Picked up over there by Russell. Motawari drive the ball down towards a forward pocket. Good defensive work there, but it's swooped on by Inglis. Picks it up. Handballs across to a teammate. Has a flying shot towards a goal. Richard Brewer it was in the first score on the board. 30 seconds into the first quarter here this afternoon. Off the boot of Richard Brewer. Well, that was quick, fast and pretty lively. Barry, yeah, straight away there, into attack, out of the centre, down they go and bang a goal on the board to the underdogs of the day, Motawari. As I said in the preview, Terry Mortar did say that they thought they'd do very well today and they're off to a flying start. It's good to see getting back to the umpires, the in, in, interchange between the two leagues. As I said, Duncan Potts from the Colac League and I believe a Geelong umpire has gone down into that area this afternoon. And uh, I quite believe it broadens their outlook on football around the Geelong and District and Colac and District area. Back to the centre now. Up goes Big Woods, does the ruck work for Monawari. Play a tackle with the ball there, Baker unable to get it clear, but it comes out of the centre, down towards the goal kicker Brewer, running onto it, can't get there quick enough, going after his Paul Mallier out there, forces the ball around the line, Look at heading for Ian Cockrell's lead, but it's over the line now to bounce far side of the ground, centre wing position, just two minutes gone on the Rockies 24 hour locksmith time clock in the first quarter, Motawari playing away and Carrillo at their home ground. On the Aussie tape scoreboard, Motawari one goal, lead Carrillo yet to score. From the boundary line thrown, it's uh, hit towards the boundary line. Sharked here for Carrillo, kick forward, but intercepting Motawari, kicked the ball back towards half forward. The bouncing ball eludes the players there, going for it in Russell, and we'll have another throwing in front of the social club over there on the far side of the ground here this afternoon. Bit of jostling in the ruck between Stewart and Wood, the uh, throw in Wood in front as it's brought to turf, picked up here and kicked forward for Carrillo, but in the road taking a good mark is Ross Bath. Bath now from centre wing. Spears went in towards the centre. Oh, hits his teammate John the chest. He dropped an easy mark there, but he taps it forward. It's picked up here by McDowell. He's uh, hotly pursued. He loses it. It goes to Brown. Brown in towards the centre of the ground. Chipping in there uh, for Carrillo is McCone, but he's beaten for it this time. The ball's grabbed and kicked down by Meeson. Down towards a forward pocket. Out the Carrillo defenders coming. The big fella gone back there for a rest already in, in Big Stewart. Takes a mark in the back pocket. Release from the, from the back pocket and kicks to centre half back and finds his teammate on his own mark.
Mark McDowell. Elects to play on immediately and kicks to the centre of the ground. Up goes Mc McMahon, tries to thump it forward. Comes out of the pack. Chance here for Hamish Gorth to get hold of it. Umpire's found the free kick. And it goes to Carrillo. They get the ball around to the centre wing and Cockrell. This is Ian Cockrell takes the mark short of centre wing. Kicks the ball towards half forward. He's got a player of his own. Took too long to get it to him. And they'll come out of defence here with a Hobie. long kick by Hobie. Troy Hovey out towards centre wing, finds a teammate who plays on quickly down towards the centre forward. Big Stewart comes out, oh, runs into his own player in McCone. McCone back onto the ball now, flips it out with handball, looking for his teammate there in Malia. Malia is uh, chased here by Russell for the Mottawari side. A pack develops and the umpires call for it and will ball it up in the forward pocket here at the... Uh, Geelong end of this shell oval. Bad luck for Correa there. Stewart came out, gathered the ball well, but unfortunately went straight into his teammate there and the ball spilled free and we're going to see a ball up in the forward pocket with Mottawari in attack. Yeah. Leading on the Aussie tape scoreboard, one goal to nil. A Correa uh, player in trouble down there too. Number 21, Malio, just picked himself up off the ground. It uh, goes towards the boundary line. From the tap down, Stewart gets it down. Allows his teammates to run onto it now. They get a quick kick out of the uh, back line, but chipping and taking a good mark for Motawari is Roberts. Roberts goes out wide where he's got Cook. Cook couldn't take the mark. Uh, going through there strongly was the Correa uh, player. Puts the ball across the line and will have a throw in. Up one bounce just inside the boundary line. Almost on the full. No. No, it is out. It just bounced inside the boundary line. Might have just about cleared it, but the, uh, the lovely lady boundary umpire right on the job there. And she's about to put the ball back into play. Not a worry in attack. Over the top of Stewart, perhaps? No. Yes, it was Peter Stewart. Now the pre-kick is relayed. And a player diving on the ball there. Rigall unable to mark. He dives in on top of it. The umpire will come in and ball this one up. But Mottawari still in attack. They've surprised in the first quarter. They've had all the play in the first five minutes on the Rockies 24-hour locksmith time clock. Umpire putting it down. Stewart doing the ruck work against Wood. Wood flips it over the back nicely. And Rigall kicks hurriedly with the left foot. Blindly into the forward pocket. Advances close to the boundary line. Coming out of defence here, Darren McNamara. He gets the hand pass across to McDowell. McDowell finds a teammate coming up the ground. He kicks the ball nicely to centre wing. Backing back, uh, couldn't take the mark there, was Thompson. Goes in after it again. In there too is Michael Wood. The ball's flipped out towards the fence, but Cook. beautifully picked up here by Cook. Cook goes streaming around the boundary line, keeps the ball in play beautifully, beats two opponents, spears the pass, but chipping in is the big fella taking the mark in Mark Stewart, and he'll relieve for Correo. Right, Stewart from the back pocket goes across the woods, a corridor, centre half back. Oh, bad mistake there for Mottawari made by Danoon. But he's got backup support from Hovey. Spears a pass down where his teammate down there and Gorth couldn't take the mark. The umpire's picked out a free kick and it'll go Carrillo's way, centre half back. Right now, Carrillo. Haven't been over the centre wing this quarter. Kick down towards the centre wing. Up they fly. Man in front should be paid to mark. No, it's been paid. The fella coming over the back. Carrier taken for him by Baker. Baker comes out here towards centre wing. Finds Cornwall. Cornwall now. Long handball to a running teammate. Going through there in Cockerell. Ian, Ian, he spears a pass down towards a forward pocket. But it's uh, Mottawari in defence. Take the mark. Play on quickly. Come out here wide towards centre wing. Over the head of his teammate there. Couldn't take it. Was Robert. Oh, Roberts is back in there. Picks it up nicely. But he's... Uh, tripped uh, over the boundary line and we'll have a throw in right now Stewart back on the ball for Karaya. Woods for uh, Motawari. Over the top uh, was the big fella from Motawari in Danoon. And the Bath kick kicks the ball into the forward line for Motawari. Looking for the player on the lead, Inglis. Was unable to gather it in. And they come out of the fence nicely with a nice handball in the direction here of Hutchinson. Hutchinson beats about three opponents. Steadies. Fires the short pass in and finds his teammate short of half forward. And the big fella taking the mark there is the uh, McMahon. Mark McMahon. He kicks it long into the forward line. McMahon. Good good lead, good mark, not paid down there to the player there in Boythroyd, picked up a flying shot on the left foot short, chipped it in nicely, and a good mark taken here down there in attack is Craig Marsh, Wompy Marsh got the ball, he'll have a shot for goal, Barry he's only, these 50 metre lines are not 50 metres I'll tell you, I had a walk of them before he would only be 35, 40 metres out from goal. Good play Frank Fabiano there, he read that ball off the pack well and chipped it across. Marsh Kicks with the right foot to the goal post. The umpire's drifting across to his right. We'll wait on him. He signifies one point only. That's the first score on the Aussie tape scoreboard for Carrillo. They are one behind now. Played eight minutes of the first quarter on the Rockies' 24-hour locksmith time clock. That was a good build-up there by Carrillo. As a kick in from fullback comes out here wide. The teammate on halfback takes the mark, leading into it there in McPhee. McPhee now from halfback flank. 
comes round the centre wing, drives the ball down towards centre wing, they set themselves here, up they go, McCone from behind, flips the ball over the boundary line and will have a throw in. But geez, a tough looking customer McCone, his nickname's McGill, I'm not surprised, Barry, he's a tough looking player. Yes, he is. Did well with the fist that time, thumping to the fence, where we see the boundary umpire put it back into oh, play. Tap Beautiful out. tap down, lands in the arms of Swampy Marsh, he kicks to half good forward, mark. and out on a lead, Ian Cockrell takes the mark, well out in front of his opponent. He's probably too far out to score. He's looking for Borthroyd to give him something to lead. Fopiani leads to the pocket. He's tumbled the punt into the forward line. It's clean bowl about four players. Going back there is uh, a Motawari defender. Kept the ball in very well, and he's forced the ball up. No, he no, hasn't. Free kick, Motawari. He got a free kick. Well, he did well, the player there. Can't pick up the number. Kicks out the half back and finds a teammate. He's got the handball on over the top here to Meeson. And Meeson, the big fella, streams out a half back. Fires a 35-metre hand pass. He's got a running teammate. He might take it back with the old one-two. He does. Puts it on the right foot and kicks the beautiful yeah. pass to centre-half forward. And he's found his teammate out here, the rusty head fella, and that is Hamish Gorth. Right, Gorth from the 50-metre line. A high kick down towards the goal line. It's tapped through by the defenders there of Karaya. A good kick. And the pack backing back, and it's flipped through for one behind. Terrific play by the big moose, Paul Meeson, coming down the ground there. Taking the old one-two and finding a beautiful pass there with Gorf, but unfortunately just a touch off line and touched on the fence. Kick out of fullback comes out in the wind direction of McGill and McCone. He couldn't handle it. Should have taken that one. Kick off the ground here by Brewer. Into the forward line for Motawari. Streaming out in front here is Ty Millen. Gathers it. Kicks oh. over the top. Has he dobbed it? Waiting on the umpire. All clear. He said it's Great a goal. goal. Beautiful goal to Ty Middle in the young centre half forward. Gee, he gathered that well and spun around beautifully, Barry. Yes, he did. Right on the boundary line. He was under a bit of pressure when he kicked the ball and uh, it was a great snapshot from the boundary line. You made the comment earlier in the day when we were around the other side that the pockets are deep and you can kick goals from the pocket here this afternoon and that just shows you can at the 10 minute mark of the first quarter. The Rockies 24 hour locksmith time clock there showing 10 minutes and a second goal on the board to Motawari. We see them two goals one 13, Carayo a one solitary point and that's proudly brought to you by Aussie Tapes. Call in and see Terry Jones for all your uh, tape needs and Aussie Tapes exclusively used by Guest Video. Motta Worry here of jumped Carayo at the shell oval. Umpire puts it down in the centre again. Up goes Wood. Probably won the hit down, but taken away and kicked forward by the big fellow Stewart. But a good mark going back in defence to Brad Evans, the back pocket player. Fires it out on the left foot to the far side of the ground, looking for the lead of Hovey. Runs onto the ball. He's got plenty of time to steady. Chips a small one in towards the boundary line. Looking there for the lead of Richard Brewer, but it beats him over the line and out of bounds. Throw in. Half forward flank. Motta Warrior again in attack. Right, waiting for the boundary umpire to bring this ball back into play. 11 minutes gone here in the first quarter. And I'd say Motawari might be kicking with the slight breeze, looking at the shell flame over there. It's favouring the Geelong end of the ground. And uh, the boundary umpire brings the ball back into play. A pack of players over there. Not a very good throw in that one, but it's Stewart gets it down to a teammate. A quick kick round the boundary line. Motawari run onto it, can't handle the ball. Fabiano's there, dodges and weaving. Comes across, kicks towards the centre. Not a very good kick or uh, not taking the ball there was McGaw for the Motawari, comes out of defence for Karaya, running onto the ball we find the big fella McPhee come down picked up in the centre by Cook, Cook screws one over his shoulder, got a teammate out here running onto the ball, he tries to, th he's grabbed around the neck, good umpiring decision there and McLean will take the free kick Good decision as you say Barry, the player was making the play, they got tagged too high and Glenn McLean goes in short wasn't a good kick at all, found his teammate he might have to take the hand pass back, he can't because intercepting is Mark McDowell, his kick is high in the air, no one in particular able to grab it here, quick kick, another one straight up in the air, they're not kicking well at all, the pressure is on and he's coming out of the fence Woods. his Woods spears the pass round with the beautiful. right foot, it's a beautiful kick too and he's found Gorth, Gorth chips it in short give it back to Gorth, he does kick a goal, no he's gone on the hand pass this time Popped it over Cook. and a player having a shot, David Cook, is offline. A little bit of indecision there by the Motawari forwards. I thought the. Uh, I think Gorth should have had the shot, Barry. Yes, he I was, agree he with was all set up for it. I think he got the call from the captain. Of course, if you want to play in the seniors next week, you've got to listen. And he popped it out, but Cook was unfortunate enough to miss the shot. No, six points are better than one. Kick him. 12 minutes gone, Rockney's 24 hour locksmith time clock. 
Right now, waiting for the ball to be brought back in from fullback. Favours it's Stewart kicked the ball in. Favours the far side to the ground. Up they fly. Tap the ground. Tap further afield here by uh, Misson, for Meeson rather for Motawari. Picked up in defence for Karaya. Handball across to his teammate there, McDowell. He gives it across where it's kicked by Kent towards centre wing and a mark taken on the centre wing. They play on Quiola. Oh, kicked into the man on the mark at rebounds. Karaya get another chance here. A high kick down towards half forward flank. They set themselves down there. Defenders thump it down, but Cockerell's good enough to get to his second bike to it. Gets a handball across. Another shocking kick by the Karaya player there. Good running on here to the ball by Thompson. Spears it down towards a four line. Karaya with the run of the ball now. Good defensive play by McLaughlin. Gets it out where it's kicked round towards a half back flank. Might a worry. First onto it now. Spear the ball back in towards the corridor wing where it's marked by Meeson. And big Meeson takes the mark just short of centre half back. He's playing well in this first quarter. The big fella Moose puts it on the left kick. The left boot, a nice kick towards half forward, looking for Billy Inglis, the little fella up from behind, couldn't mark. Tapped on by Hamish Gorth of the Motawari side. In goes Inglis again, fighting hard. Can he control it? He can't, it's taken away. And they kick the ball towards half forward, and a nice mark out on the lead here, looks like Thompson. Thompson of Carrillo, spears a pass in, both Roy was the target, he couldn't get there, and it's punched back towards where it came, and little Billy Inglis run on it, oh, he didn't run hard enough, he might oh, get a free man. kick, he's given it away. away. Good decision. He didn't go hard enough at that ball and just tried to pat it away. Carrillo down towards a forward pocket they go. Over the back booth Roy tries to trap it, but good defensive play for Mottawari by Craig McLaughlin. Sees the ball go across the line and we'll have a throw in about 25 metres around from the Carrillo goal. Aussie tape scoreboard. Carrillo one behind. Mottawari 14. That's 2-2-14. That's 3 2 8 3 double two, one. ring Terry Jones for Aussie tapes used exclusively by guest video productions. Boundary umpire brings the ball back into play. Up they go. Woods taps it down to his uh, teammate there. He couldn't handle it in Coots. Goes kick round where it's marked. Round down the half forward flank by F uh, Fapano. Fapano now steadies. A long kick down towards a pocket. They set themselves up high there. No mark paid, but it was a good attempt to Hutchison for Karaya. Quick kick around the corner. And uh, one point is the result. And that came off the boot, David. Might have been Cockerell, was it? Just watching to pick him up. There might have been uh, Ian Cockerell. Just a bit hard to get him there, Barry. Well, we'll give it to the credit of Ian Cockerell. That's the second behind to Karaya here this afternoon. Might have worry from full back now. Go out the far side. A lovely kick out, about 60 metres out to the half back flank. Up they fly at the bottom of the pack. Picking it up from Might worry was McLean. He goes round wide where he's got Cook running onto the ball. Keeps it ahead of him. Oh, he's got support from a teammate who handballs back towards Hovey. Hovey through the centre. Kicks the ball down towards the. Uh, goal line that bounces in towards a square thumped over the, uh, towards the boundary line by the defender of Karaya there in Adam Kent and it hits the behind post and we'll have a throw in. Good safety first play by Adam Kent there he was on his own waiting for the ball to come down he just put the fist into it and elected to knock it right away from his opponent result of boundary throw in forward pocket Motta Worry deep in attack throw in chance for Motta Worry player there to run onto the ball which was Hamish Gorth, he was unable to do so. It's tight down there in the forward pocket. Could come out of defence here with just a little kick. It's still inside the 50, just gone outside the 50 now. And running onto it, giving it back here. This looks like Hobie, is it? Coming on the right foot, he's going to have a shot, but he's pulled as he kicked it, goes deep into the face of goal. Up Stewart. they go on a big master, Stewart. Looks like the big yes. fellow with the bike shorts. Handball's across the top where he's got Hutchison in uh, to help him out. He kicks around the centre wing. Over the back of the pack it comes where it's picked up for Mata Worry there and kicked forward for him by Danoon. In towards the corridor and Cook takes a good mark. Right, uh, Cook now. Spears the ball into pocket there, going the long way home. He's found Inglis. He's found him with the pass. Oh, play on. oh the umpire didn't pay the mark. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Have a look at that one, umpire's board. That was a mark for mine, Barry Walker. Yes, I thought he held it and the player ran straight into him and he was a bit stiff there not to uh, get the free kick or the mark, but at any rate, the umpire's paid it and he's going to ball it up. He puts the ball down there, right on the 50 metre line, up goes Wood for Monawari, wins the hit down in the direction there of the player in uh, coming around with it. Danoon. It's Danoon, kicks with the right foot, spears it into the forward pocket, picked up here Coots. by Coots. He's had a flying shot, has the cooter, Missed. but he's offline. It's just one behind only. 
Yes, they're going a long way home at the moment, not a worry. They're fiddling about instead of going direct to goal. They're coming out here to the pocket and then they're going back inboard and back out again. And uh, they're wasting opportunities, I think, in this first quarter at the 17-minute mark of the first quarter on the Rockies 24-hour locksmith time clock. Waiting for the fullback now in uh, Darren McNamara to bring this ball back into play. That's who brought it in before. Barry just got the bike pants on there, had him confused. But this is McNamara, the leader of the band down there in defence. Kicks out on the left foot. Good kick too, well out over the defensive. 50 clears all players and pass found a free kick might go to Hobie advantage now he's paid advantage a quick kick oh this will be down the field Barry whoa oh, what That's a mark dangerous. it was downfield anyway but a beautiful mark taken by Ty uh, Ty Millen I think up there took it the big grab IG Hovey's giving him some drive down there across that uh, over on that far side to ground around the wing area yeah he's roaming far and wide of the center giving them plenty of opportunities and the, the short kick there, the player was flattened. And this is Ty Millen coming into line up for his second. Puts the boot right into it. Umpire leans back, moves forward. It's another one. Ty Millen kicks his second. And we've played 18 minutes into the first quarter on the Rockies 24 hour locksmith of Karaya Village. Yes, a very good uh, play there by the Motawari side. As you say, the play was slung, but in any case, a mark was taken. That's at the 18-minute mark of the first quarter on the Rockies 24-hour locksmith time clock out here at the Shell Oval Carayo, where we see Motawari have snuck away here in the first quarter. and uh, They've jumped them, haven't they? Yes, they, really they have. have. They have. Uh, Karaya's been into attack, but uh, they've only co scored two solitary points where Motawari are three goals, 3-21. And with a little bit more, well, directness towards goal, I feel they could have had a couple more on the board. Could well have been four or five goals. So correct, Barry. Back to the centre. Stewart doing the ruck work. Wins the hit down, but no one able to get it. Wood runs on it for uh, Motawari, but unable to get it clear. They're thrown out of the pack. Umpire's let it go. He's trying to get it clear. Play. Strong play, Hutchison. Burst through the pack, didn't he? Did very well. Comes out wide here to Roberts. Roberts can't quite gather in for Motawari. Taps it towards the boundary line, but trapping it here is Thompson. And Thompson with a sure kick. They can raffle this one. And up goes the big fella. Looks like Hutchison is it and takes yes. the mark. Greg Hutchison. For the Carrillo side, he's a big strong boy, this lad. Puts it on the foot, got two options. Either one can have it. And this time Judd Gaylard takes the mark and kicks around the half-forward flank. Right, goes down to half-forward. Good defensive play down there by McPhee. He sees the ball kicked back towards the corridor for the Motawari side. Picked up and flipped out to a no-throw. Good. I thought it was flipped out. And the umpires picked it up and the free kick to be taken by Woods. Woods now. Short passes out here towards centre wing. Got a teammate coming down here in McPhee. He drives the ball towards centre half-forward. The corridor area. Up they go. Over the back of the pack it goes. A uh, pack develops as the ball hits the ground and the umpire moves him very quickly and will ball it up. <coughs> well played by the, the Motawari boys there. It was about a, a four on two situation. They were able to hold the ball in and get the ball up half forward. 20 minutes gone, the first quarter. Oh. Puts it down up. He went very Stewart. high. Got the hit down too, did Stewart. Bit of a fumble here. Flip pan pass across. Chance coming onto the ball here for Sam Riggle. Can he pick it up? He's still battling. Fires the hand pass back to his teammate in Lee Roberts. And Roberts goes round the fence close to the boundary line. And the, the nice looking boundary umpire says it's over the line and out of bounds. Half forward flank. What a worry in attack. Right, waiting for the boundary umpire to bring this ball back into play. Throws it in. They set themselves. Up they go. Stewart gets a tap down. He's got support down there from Cockrell. Greg. They see Carrillo come round towards the centre wing. In front of you, taking a good mark for Carrillo. Ian on, Cockrell. On half-back flank is Ian Cockrell. He'll drive Carrillo out of defence. Kicks the ball round towards centre wing. Coots and Woods. Woods up high. A great good mark. mark, Woods. A good mark there by uh, jo uh, Woodsy on uh, centre wing. Goes towards the centre of the ground, finds his teammate and the big fella. This is uh, your Mason. mate playing well, missing. Gives big it across Mason. to Hovey. Not a very good kick from Hovey this time. Allows Karai to come in, socket the ball off the ground, or kicking in danger. The player had the hands on the ball, and that's one um, and 50 metres. He's right onto that uh, Darren Gilmore, paying this 50 metres. The uh, Karai player hesitated and given the ball back, and that was Mark Brown. And 50 metres will bring the not a worry player within kicking distance. Original free kick against Paul Baker. I thought it was a bit tough. He was the one battling hard for it and just tried to kick it along in front of him. Yeah, but I agree with it. If you've got your hands on the ball and they kick at it, I do believe it should be a free kick. All right, Ross Bath about to have the kick. Always been an umpire's man, Barry. Ross Bath fires on the right foot. Goes
Gold umpire doesn't move. It's another one to Motawari. They've really jumped Karaya, the, the second division side, leading the first division side. 22 minutes gone on the Rockies 24-hour locksmith time clock in the first quarter. Rockies out there at Karaya Village. Any troubles you've got with your locks, get out and see him. He's the man to fix them. There's the clock he provides for us. 22 and a half minutes gone. And uh, by golly, it's a bit of a game here. We thought that Karaya might be a bit strong for them, Barry, but they're doing very well, the Motawari boys. Yes, they are, but, uh, you know, I think that uh, the scoreboard there showing four goals, 327 Motawari, Karaya two straight points on the Aussie Tapes first quarter scoreboard. I was just going to say, uh, we've seen a couple of games this year with Division 2, Division 1 sides playing. Division 2 sides can normally stay with them for half a game and then uh, the stronger Division 1 sides take over. But, uh, well, you never know. Bounce down at the centre. Woods again doing the ruck work, again winning it too, doing a good job for them. Player coming out of defence here with... The, sorry? Cornwall. Cornwall, good kick too, up towards half forward. Punched away, running onto the ball. Can he pick it up? He couldn't pick it up there. Swampy Marsh goes in after it again. Fires out, Hutchison fires out the hand pass to Marsh. Marsh picks up and kicks with the right foot up towards Boothroyd. He might have got this one. Out in front that time. Yes, it wasn't a very good kick. It floated. It's uh, Karaya seem to be having trouble with their kicking, their passing today. They're sort of floating them around, but that one managed to get through to Boothroyd and he'll line up on a 45-degree angle about 25 metres out. I think the best part of the kick was the fact that Boothroyd was in front. He runs in the out. Oh, the wind swung it back far enough, I think. Yes. He's kicked it. Well, they needed that one. The first goal of the day for the big full forward in Rod Boothroyd. He's been kicking plenty of them in recent weeks. Been well held up to the 24-minute mark of the first quarter, but that's his first goal on the board. Yes, uh, when he kicked that, I thought it was going to swing away, and then all of a sudden it did a lead break and come back and uh, went through for a goal, and that is at the 23-minute mark of the first quarter on the Rockies' 24-hour locksmith time clock. I think we put that one down to hometown experience. I think he knew which way the wind was blowing there and allowed for it. And on the Aussie tape scoreboard, Correa 128, Trail Model Worry, who are four goals, 327. Yes, uh, R Rodney Bo Boothroyd kicked double figures last week, 10 goals. So he's on the way today. Back into the setter. Right, the Running onto it as Inglis. Couldn't handle it there for the Model Worry side. In goes the player there in Coots. He can't get it out either. Umpire's going to call for another bounce and you can take it, Barry. Yes, uh, good play there by Ross Bath for Motawari. Kept the ball moving for them, but he just couldn't break right through. Right, umpire Gilmore to put this ball to turf. Down it goes. Up go the Ruckman. Stewart gets up, taps it down. Gains about 10 metres, but Coots is in the road. Kicks the ball down towards half forward. Up they fly. Over the back of the pack. Motawari swoop on a handball back here to his teammate Danoon. Danoon now spears the pass in towards the pocket where he's got a lead down there and a juggling mark taken down there for Motawari by Hamish Gorth. He's been lively at half forward, has Hamish Gorth. He originally picked in the back pocket and the side named in the, tea, in the uh, paper, but uh, started off on the forward line. He's Provided an option down there. He's moved around well. And now we'll watch him come in and have the shot for goal here. He's well inside that 50. Distance not a problem. Puts it on the boot. Oh, it looks pretty good from here. It's a goal. Yes, yes sir. -y. Another one kicked there. Kicked for Monawari. Kicked by Hamish Gorth. Rusty, the boy's nickname is. Well done, Rusty. Nice little a chip kick at the goals. Goal umpire had no hesitation. Four points on the board. 25 minutes gone. Rocky's 24 hour locksmith time clock. Yeah, it's a good kick from the pocket there. It was well set up by the uh, players hit back in the centre. Just looking at the uh, scoreboard now, the Aussie tapes, first quarter scoreboard, Motawari 5-3-33, Karaya 1 goal, 2-8. Woods is doing a good job in the centre against Big Stewart. He'd be giving away, oh, what, a foot and a half in height. Gee, he's giving away a lot of inches. He's, I just wonder how high he can jump at the end of the day, Barry. At any rate, the bounce of the ball up they go. Stewart gets it down again, but it's socket off the ground here for Karaya. They get it down to half forward. All players going in solidly there, and the pack develops, and the umpire is forced to move in and ball it up. Yes, the height might get him by the end of the day, but we'll just have to wait and see. Down she goes. Up they go again. Woods is up, but uh, Stewart gets it down. Handball over the top here to Ian Cockrell. He grabs the ball now, spears the pass down to Woods. He has a shot, as a matter of fact, over the heads of the players and through for one behind. Good play by Cockrell on the burst there. Was able to grab it quickly. Had the presence of mind to put it to the foot very smartly. But unfortunately, just offline. Not much there. And uh, Craig McLaughlin couldn't get back to cut it off. We'll wait for McLaughlin to kick the ball back into play. He favours the scoreboard side of the ground. The target out here is Lee Roberts. He's unable to grab it, though. It's close to the fence. Going in Billy English from Motawari. Gathers it sweetly. But he's beautifully tackled and pushed over the boundary line. Oh, yeah, throw in. And it's a throw in. Good effort from the defenders down there. Might have been Hutchinson. 
Did it well. Pushed him over as he's about to run away, and it's a throw in. Right, the boundary umpire brings the ball back into play. Up they go. Uh, this time it's brought down by Danoon. Tap for, uh, for Karaya by McMahon. A pack develops. Oh, picked up here for Motawari, trying to get out of the pack. Oh, a bit uh, tough there. Uh, umpire Gilmore has paid a free kick against the Motawari defender for holding the ball. I thought he was the only one going for the ball, but an a pack swamped him, and the free kick's to be paid here on half forward flank for Karaya, and it will be taken by Mark Brown. Been a quiet player in the first quarter, Mark Brown. He's about to get the knee brace on there. He might be carrying an injury, perhaps, but uh, when you run out the ground, you're all fit. Billy English looks like coming off. Mark Brown's part of the short pass beautiful in. Pass. Oh, beautiful pass, too. And he's found, looks like Hutchison there. No, no. it's bit the big fella, Rod Boothroyd. Yeah, very lax there, the Motawari defenders. They just let Boothroyd run onto that ball without much opposition. You Certainly know. did. They all thought he was going to have the shot, I think, and uh, Boothroyd woke to it, dropped in short, and has accepted the pass. He's lining up for his second goal. He's kicked one. we played 28 and a half minutes on the Rockies 24-hour locksmith time clock as the big fella, Rod Boothroyd, comes in to put it on the boot. Beautiful kick. Oh, the goal umpire oh. looks straight back over the top of his head. A beautiful kick. No wonder he's been kicking big scores. And Rod Boothroyd kicks his second, his team's second, at the, uh, yes, 28, 29 minutes now gone of the first quarter at the Shell Oval. Yes, that's a handy goal for the Carrier side. Once you get past that 25-minute mark of a quarter and you can uh, kick a couple of goals and get yourself either back into the game or a little bit further ahead, they're the ones that count. I agree, Barry. They've had most of the play model worry, haven't they? Just haven't quite put enough on the board. There's the Rockies times with... 24 hour locksmith time clock, 28 minutes gone. Aussie tape scoreboard, 15 plays 33 at the Shell Oval. And uh, for this first quarter, brought to you by Aussie Tapes. Back in the centre, Wood again doing the ruck work, but he's beaten for it by a big Stewart. They're bursting out of the centre here. Short kick by Brown, and he's found his teammate. In. Might be Mark uh, McMahon. Is it a big fella too? Puts the boot right in it. Up to the goal square. Boothroyd back, second grab, picked Fabiani. up by Fabiani. He's slammed it. Go. He slammed it through. Two goals in a minute here, kicked by Carayo. They're right back in the game after Motawari jumped them early in the piece, had most of the play for the quarter, and all of a sudden in five minutes we've seen three goals kicked by Carayo, and they're right back in business. Yes, uh, that's the second time he's read the ball off the pack well up there in the forward pocket. He, uh, I've seen him play here last year, and he played on a wing, and he's got good uh, ball sense, this young fella. Any rate, at the 29-minute mark of the first quarter on the Rockies' 24-hour locksmith time clock, Karaya have got themselves back into this game. They're three goals, three, 21. Motawari, five goals, three, 33. And that's on the Aussie Tapes' first quarter scoreboard. The last three centre bounces, we've seen Mark Stewart beat Michael Wood for the ball. Let's watch this one, Barry. Right, the bounce favours Wood. He taps it down backwards, but oh, going through strongly there for the uh, Karaya side was Paul Baker. Gets it down to half forward. They're caught with the ball for mine there, yes. I agree with you this time, umpire uh, Darren Gilmore, and at least you're consistent. The kick out right. Riggle by Riggle kicks it out wide. He's found his teammate Coots. there in Ross Bath. Is it, is it Coots. Coots? It was. Kicks round to the, the, the centre wing position. Got a teammate running on it. Kick it with the left foot, son. He did. Beautiful kick into the forward line. Almost a mark paid. Flying shot there by the big fella in uh, Ty Millen. Unable to get boot the ball very well. And coming out of the fence, crashing through there is uh, Paul Baker, was it? And he's called it. for a ball up at centre half forward. He's looked good down there in the forward line. Ty Millen in the first quarter. Give them something to kick at, Barry. Yes, he has. The bounce of the ball. Sent half forward. Up they go. It's tapped down by Stewart again, but it's uh, running onto the ball there for uh, Karai and getting a free kick was McDowell. He, he plays on quickly, runs through half back, spears it down towards a half forward flank. A good mark taken over there by Cockrell. Cockrell now plays on. Dodges around his uh, opponent, kicks in short and finds Cornwall. Cornwall will be kicking from about 55 metres out, close to the boundary line. Boothroyd now makes the lead. A short kick, but oh, intercepting is Danoon for the Motawari side. Danoon now from back pocket. Chipped in nicely there, Danoon, and he kicks the ball towards the centre of the ground. Player out on a lead and should mark and does. And the mark has been taken by Russell. Russell it is. Kicks the ball wide. Going the wide option there, looking for Ray McPhee, who marks. Plays on immediately. He's got a play on his own. Oh, should have taken the mark there. Lee Roberts couldn't. Went back and got it. Beautifully tackled by uh, Warren Thompson. And the umpire... No, he's played dropping the ball, I think. Yes, Thompson takes the free kick and kicks it out to the leader, Paul Baker, who marks at half back. Short of centre wing. Looking for someone to go for. Mark McMahon might well be the target. He's leading... Baker taking all the time in the world. He must be waiting for the siren to go. 
Now he puts it on the boot. We could have lit a cigarette in that time. Kicks the ball up to half forward. Players rise. Going and taking the ball there was McPhee. Kicks the ball back towards... Oh, good fist on the ball here by Thompson. They're playing volleyball. The umpire's free found kick. a free kick to interrupt the volleyball. And going back, this will be Nevada Cockrell to take the free kick just in the attacking zone. Right now, Cornwall with a high kick out towards the half forward line. Up they fly. Boothroyd's out there, but it's a defensive mod of worry now. Trap the ball close to the boundary line. Kick it round here towards the centre wing. It bounces and bounces across the line. And we'll have a throw in centre wing on the at the shell oval here this afternoon. Good defence there from Ray McPhee of Mottawarri. He's had a good first quarter. Barry's been in the play a fair bit. Here's a good uh, good shot of the boundary umpire there, Barry. Yes, the boys are right on the ball here this afternoon as they've thrown in. Oh, Stuart used his body well. Gets a tap down down to Hutchison, Greg Hutchison. He's kicked down forward, but chipping and taking a good mark is uh, Woods. Michael Woods now from half-back goes across the ground. Oh, danger. Mark taken over there. Thompson. Will the, will the mark be paid? Yes, it yes, will. Yes, he's paid the mark, but he's going to kick from a long way out. I don't know if he's heard the sign. He has. He puts the spiral on the foot, but he's well off line with it. He had to kick quickly before the players got back in other goal square. He knew the distance was a worry, and there's no score on the board from that kick from Warren Thompson, and a bit of a let-off there after the poor kick from Michael Wood did not find its target. Quarter yes. time at the Shell Oval. That quarter went about 33 minutes on the Rockies' 24-hour locksmith time clock, and after looking as though they were going to get right away, Mata Worry, Correa have come right back in the last seven or eight minutes of that quarter to put themselves back in the game. Yes, the first quarter, as the first 15 minutes was all Mata Worry, and I felt they frittered away a lot of opportunities by playing short game and going too wide, whereas going down the middle might have helped them. They had a couple of opportunities to bring up six pointers, but unfortunately they played the short game. Correa got back into it there in the last 10 minutes from the 25 minute mark onwards, and they've kicked three goals to take them to three goals, 3.21, Mottawari, five goals, 3.33, and that is the Aussie Tapes' first quarter, quarter-time scoreboard. We'll take a short break and be back for the second quarter very shortly.